when the high priest of the Church of the Illuminated Saints took control of our town. His first official act was to ban Halloween. His second act, sending me his favorite altar boy to infiltrate the other children's underground festivities. Sniff them out, Demetrius, the high priest whispered into my ear. Find the little witches who spread unhallowed pagan filth. Find them, and I'll give you the sweetest treats. Perhaps on that night, the other children knew I had quietly infiltrated their party, huddling within the circle of their bodies, hidden by the darkness of the school basement. For why else would they have done what they did? Their voices were hushed as they began to chant. A sinner was burned at a fiery stake upon a Halloween night. Perhaps that was a grave mistake, for instead he died of fright. I held my breath. Were they summoning a demonic spirit? To cleanse themselves of his unholy touch, that defiled purity. Tonight, his weathered corpse will clutch by night's obscurity. No, this wasn't a summoning. I remember this innocent Halloween party game from last year, before the ban. Here is his brain, feeling no pain. To the child to my left pressed what seemed a moist peeled tomato into my hands. I shivered. I passed it on to the next child. Here is his heart. Never more to start. Uncooked greasy chicken, surely. I shuddered to touch it. One hand alone, rotting flesh and bone. A leather glove filled with ice cubes. What else could it be? Now his hair, once so fair. Earthworms? Spaghetti noodles? I sniffed them to determine. Now his eyes, frozen in surprise. These I also couldn't guess. Rotten grapes, maybe. A tongue so moist, now unvoiced. I nearly dropped the squishy dried apricot as it passed. A sacrifice of foreskin for his sexual sin. That sensation, that rubbery, hairless skin, felt strangely familiar. I screamed and hurried to my feet and slammed the light switch on. In the center of the circle of children neighed the mangled body of the high priest. He had not died of fright. He was eyeless, scalped, and scorched all over. Tongue extracted, skull collapsed, robe stained by bleeding wounds where his genitals once were. Then the other children's eyes turned towards me. I didn't make it to the door. <laughs> 